Hi guys, welcome to another video, and in this video we're going to look at something that we saw on Facebook. We did. From it, very nice people. It was a great technique. What we'll do, we'll show you their technique that they've done, and it's like rapid strikes into a crossover arm into a crook grab. And there was a comment on there that got us thinking is, can you do this with one hand? Because obviously, myself with two canes. Because you are Kev with two canes. I am, I am the two cane. I'm a caged um, tiger. It can only get better, can't it? Well, this is true. So, what we thought we'd do was steal the idea. I mean, let's adapt it for people like Kev or Seated. Yeah. Um, which is great because that's what we like to do. Cue music. And we'll have to dump. So what we see on this video was, he's got the cane in front of him, and he's doing short strikes, coming back to the hand, striking back, striking back, gripping, changing hand, striking, pulling out a limb or whatever, and striking through. Now obviously on two canes, I've got both hands on one cane, um, the world changes. I sort of look at it like this as I'm timbering onto the floor. So just for demonstration, I'm using the half cane because obviously the distance. And normally, the tech would come in, hit, hit, and again, it's not just a bringing the cane back to stop. You can use that to force in as well. See our assisted strikes video. Haha. <laughs> and then, obviously changing, coming through, striking. So that's the whole technique is striking away and it's a backhand strike grab turn strike from there lovely so let's have a look at this with a little bit of power and um, what i'll do i'll do it from the seat position because obviously I have two hands power. and then um, we'll show you the adaptive way if you're using two canes to walk i've had an idea he's had an idea and cut So time for a little bit of a pressure test. Chris is going to do the technique against the body armour. I'm just going to brace myself so that I don't go backwards. This won't be full power because obviously you cannot take the full effect of my mighty cage tiger power. But the technique backhanding and then pushing, 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 striking him in the face. I really had to control myself there and then jolting in there. And that was just a little tap, wasn't it? Yeah, it's enough to take the air out of you. I mean, it doesn't hurt per se but it's just like getting just knocked and the wind comes out of you and that's yeah basically all but so i guess the bone that would be nasty yeah well, being struck with this with no body armor trust me it hurts and then we're assisting it with that as well but yeah. very short it's almost like a bang bang chain punching like a chain punch short decisive bursts of power we almost had another cane versus bone video. I was one bag of shopping, carried in my left hand against my cane. I stepped forward with my right foot. As I went to move the cane forward, the shopping pushed the cane behind my right leg. I then walked forward kicking my cane. I have a bruise and a sore leg and that's Seven days, no, eight days. Eight days. Eight days, and the bruise is there, and it was just a small step. So we nearly had another, you know, cane v bone, and if I'd hit it harder, I reckon I would have broken it. And I hit the light cane, I didn't hit the black belt cane as well. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> blocked it with my knee, because I can do that. So let's change up the ante. Change up the ante. Mm. Here, my trusty half cane. And from a sitting point of view, it's changed the dynamic slightly. I've still got the strikes and the strike into the strike. One thing I did notice 
It's nice once you've done this and that, changing hands because I've got a ferrule on. Oh look, does that feel good? You love it, don't you? <laughs> so yes, sitting in the chair, that's a really nice technique. Also, if his arms are on me, I'm underneath. When I change hands, I can come up behind his arm, put it to clear it, push, strike. It's nice. It is a nice little technique. But what we really need to do is to be standing using canes to actually keep my balance. I have an idea. Sweet. Trademarked. Okay, bear in mind, it's been about a week since we see this video. So, we're going to go through the technique. Once the clubs are open again, once we get our freedom back, freedom, then we'll start working on this as we normally do. So, I'm just going to get a basic tripod, popping the cane up, and I'm striking in. Oh, that was that. You okay? Yeah, no, I was going for a grab, and as he'd done that, he actually made contact, and I didn't want to grab him anymore. Right. Just lift your hands a sec, because I just want to see whether or not I've got enough power as that. Well, I'm glad that's there. Yeah? Yeah. So is it the same sort of power that was going from when I was two-handing? Same power. Same power. Yep. So we know that we've got the power. And again, if he comes in for the grab, I've got this. I would probably go into something different. I wouldn't go in for the multiple tact. But just to show the technique, you can go tap, 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 clear, strike through. Once I'm into this position, I know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to bring my leg offline, just so that I can drop the cane. It's coming down, and I'm pulling, and I'm going to hit straight between the groin. Ha! It's both my legs. As you can see, the juices are flying already with Chris. He's seen one thing. He was saying, when I pop the cane up, again, I'm in a nice defensive position here. I've got the wiper. I've got groin shots, I've got face shots. But, but Chris was saying... You cannot defend against my severe taunting. <laughs> Chris was saying, lead with the crook first. Strike, strike, strike. If anything comes in, I'm coming up underneath, pulling over, I've hit a collarbone. He doesn't feel it yet, but if I just go like that, Possible. <laughs> He's trying to be so manly, bless him. But that's basically if I if I hook the just the vest. I'm gonna resist. You resist. I'm resist. Resist. <laughs> I'm now we've got another video that we're releasing soon. That's my face. Releasing soon. Where this becomes more apparent. So there's lots of little things. With this you can come up, strike, strike. Elbow strike. Oh, I've got the figure of eight. All we wanted to do is just to see whether this technique of going bang, bang, bang would work. I'm going to do it left-handed. Chris, just raise your hand so I don't hit your elbow because this is the this is the black belt cane. It's that into this into that. How's it feel? Well, I don't like it. And you won't like it if you're not wearing one of these things. If it's a combat situation, so we go for attack number two where I grab and I can do the punch, it doesn't matter which cane. So straight away. I've hit the elbow up here, I'm coming up. Again, I'm doing different things, but it's still the same principle of coming up, hitting, striking, grabbing. Yeah. As soon as I do that, if he just flicks the cane up, oh done. No, no, just don't <laughs> flick it and then bring it round and then just keep tapping. Again. There's so many little bits and pieces we can put in, and we will work on this. Um, it's better than a dojo situation, we've got space, and we just literally flow off of each other. But, for now, I think it was John D. Colton. I'm almost yeah, well. positive it was John. Hi John. So John, if that was you, can you do it with two canes? Yes you can. Adapt it. Okay. Don't forget your target areas. And if you can't raise the cane high, I would not want that on my leg or my knee. Or your groin. Ugh, my groin can take it. God. 
Right guys, you made it to the end of the video. Well done, you're a star. We're Am really, I? really happy with it. Um, Am I a star? Well, you stayed awake. I could be a white dwarf. You could be. Maybe a black hole. So don't forget guys, we've got merchandising. This helps keep the channel alive. It keeps us going. It keeps us above keep water, so to speak. Keeps me in tea and crumpets. At the end of the video, you see a couple of links to our latest videos and stuff like that. So just click on it. Very gangster. I'm gangster. Yeah. If you've got any videos that you'd like to share and you want us to put up, we will put them up because we love seeing what other people do. And, and we do get videos where they say, how can you change this so it'll work for me because I've got yeah, whatever. And we, we try and find a solution for you. Not all disabilities are the same. People with the same disability will actually handle things totally different. So what we need you to do now is to help us with the algorithm Drop us a line down below, let us know what you think, or even just say hello or hi if you only want to use two characters. Smash that like button, give us a nice thumbs up. Thank you. Ring the bell. Ding. After you have... Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> that was quite good. I was going to say something else and I realised I got my line wrong. So, don't forget to subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Yep. Don't even think about it. What? Is this where I put the... Oh, I see. All right, he doesn't tell me these things. Good old Kev Two Canes. <laughs> I know he's going to stick in it. You may have two canes, but you're lacking in the brains. Good zombie defense. Exactly. And don't forget, FTF, free the fear. You can't free the tiger, because I'm the caged tiger. And Good. you don't want to meet me on that on the loose, do you? <laughs>